Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page four of Let's Get Artsy, page four. So we're going to start with the base um, designer paper, and I've chosen this from the patterns and solids. So here's my glue. And I have yet to find my pick slash weeding tool. It, it seems to be permanently lost. I might have to actually purchase another. And, we, and of course, the minute I, it shows up, I'll, uh, I'll find the other one that's just the way things work and that's fine I'll just put it in my um, crop bag for when I travel I won't have to move tools off my desk I'll just have a duplicate in my in my bag okay Okay, let's verify the orientation. So this is up, just confirming that. Push this down, spread out my glue a little bit. Could have gone a little bit lower, still looks okay. Okay, now we're gonna start by adding These two cards, so I've got a left and a right hand card. These are eight and a half by six and a quarter. Eight and a half by six and a quarter, and you're gonna score it in half, and that is at four and a quarter. So you're gonna score at four and a quarter, and these are gonna go down uh, like so. Sorry about the dog. It's that time of year that's getting really bad because um, it's like every 20 minutes or so, it seems like uh, Amazon's coming down the the end of our road, and we're right at the end of it, so she doesn't miss a truck. Let's see. So these are six and a quarter, and this is eight, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm centering it. So one and three, one and three quarters. So I'm going to come down. I'm kind of looking at the pattern because I don't really want to cut one in half because it looks a little awkward. It turns out I'm going to be able to kind of follow that line. So that's what I'm going to do. And I chose that for the background because I know I'm going to do some layering on top of it. And it's very, it's a very busy pattern. So um, I'm going to do some things to kind of calm that down by adding some layers on the front. And it's also a pattern I haven't used so far. I should have squared this off on my grid. So I think that's where I want to go. Let me check that half inch. Yeah. Let's see if I've got a half inch all the way. Ooh. Yep. Yep. So when I what I'm doing when I slide my ruler is I'm looking, there's my half inch, and I'm pressing it against my installation, just verifying that it's a half inch all the way down. It is. Okay, so that's it. So now we're going to do the same thing over here. And rather than measure up and down, I'm going to measure across from the existing panel and then move it out to a half an inch. And I'm going to give myself a little marker on how far I'm going to move it out. So right about there. And these are going to both open away from each other, away from the center. Again, you'll need two eight and a half by six and a quarter. Score at four and a quarter, and you'll have a left and right card, left and right hand card. It's important that they open away from the center, just because we're going to layer on top of these. And um, for the function of the mechanic, the mechanics of it, they need to open away from each other. Okay, let's check that real quick. So, wow, that's way less than a half inch. How did I get so far off? I'm going to move that over. It would have been fine, but 
Oh, because the first mark was off. Okay, well, it needs to go right here. Okay. All right. So the pattern that I have for this is, uh, I think this is so pretty, but it reminds me of kind of like an Asian print. I think this, no, nope. I should have another one of these. Here it is. Okay. It's going to go left and right. Now I'm going to install some magnets, so I'm going to wait a minute on those. But you can go ahead and cut those and set them aside. I'm going to ink them while I have them out. And then we're going to add two more cards. And then a photo mat that goes on top. My uh, ink pad seems a little dry. Maybe I'll try a different one. This one looks a little bit better. Okay, now the next thing is we're going to add two cards. And they're going to go to the inside. And I'm going to think about this for a second. So one's going to go on the left and one's going to go on the right. And they're going to uh, open like so. They're going to be mounted on the outside, not the inside. The outside flap, about a half an inch from the score line, centered. So I'm going to find my center line with my ruler. I'm going to cap my glue. Um, here it is. <clears throat> okay, so three and one eighth. Is the center. And then we want to find the center line for the card. Okay, so we're going to line these two marks up, and that's where it's going to get installed. Two and so I should do it this way. Okay, so they're going to get installed like so. Okay, so the next thing we need to do before we install that is cover these. Then we're going to attach these. Well, that's not true. We're going to cover this, and then we're going to cover the back side of this. So part of it is going to be exposed. So I'm looking for paper to cover that part. And when the whole thing is closed, um, it should not be, uh, let me think about that. Yeah, so that goes like so. This is going to lay on top of it. So we're going to want a magnet about right here. Um, actually, we only need to cover one because this is page four, page five is over here. So 
We'll cover this one on the left, and then we won't cover this one because this will be attached. Like so, to the back of this. So this this secondary card is going to be attached to this. So we'll need to make sure we cover this piece, but the back of this will be glued down so you won't see it. Okay, enough about that. So let's find what we're going to do here. Looks like I need to glue that down a little bit. I've already used a lot of fuchsia and a lot of blue, so I don't want to give that up. So I'm preserving this pattern because I actually want this pattern to appear on every page in some way. Um, and this is my least favorite, so it's not it's not hard to choose. But maybe I'll do this. Because this doesn't get used anywhere else. Let's see, do I have bigger pieces? I do. Oh, no, that's also 8x8. I might have that in a 12x12. 12 12. I do. Okay, I'm going to use these two here. I say the inch is six and a quarter. Okay. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to use it's too small too small oh my fingers are they hurt <laughs> let's see if I've got an orange yeah, I'm going to use this here go ahead and ink these two outside ones and then we can attach these cards right here. Just double checking to make sure they fit. They do. Just a little bit shorter.
just staring at it for a minute to see if it was directional. It is not. I covered up my midline, but I'll be all right. I was thinking I was going to install a burst, but that's not that's not right. Get all this out of my field of vision. Bring my ruler back in. I'm not going to mark it this time. I'm just going to um, use the, leave the ruler sitting here and and use that as my guide. Whew, it's hard to look at. So this is six and a quarter. So three and one eighth is going to be my mark. Yeah, that looks good. Now, thinking about how it's going to open, that's page five. I think I want it to open this way, which is away from the spine, which means I'm still going to use that line, but it's going to be kind of like my glue line. <laughs> which means I don't need to cover this with paper because it's going to have that top panel on it. So there's my, there's my tick mark for the zero and there is the zero coming off it by about a quarter of an inch. Actually, a little less than a quarter of an inch. Okay. Maybe like three sixteenths. Yeah, it's about three sixteenths. Uh, and it, it, I just want to have plenty of clearance so that when we close it, there's no interference here. A little more glue than I needed. That's okay. All that's going to get covered up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop short of that line because I don't know what I want to put on the back of this yet um, so that when it's in the open position, I don't know what I want to show. Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit unglued so that I can t 
tuck it behind it and then I'll glue it closed. That'll make a little bit more sense in a minute. Okay. I don't, I don't. Okay. And again, there's, I'll be able to slide something under here and glue it closed once I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Now this is going to have this. Oops. So the magnet's actually going to go on this side. Yeah. The magnet is going to go here over here. So let me just put an X here so I don't forget, or a circle, which is what I usually use. And this is going to go in like so. And then when you open it, you're going to see this panel and a good portion of this panel. So it's about centered. So right now we have this. In this, and this, and then here I'm bringing in that pattern again. This is actually from the 8x8. I didn't have a large enough panel of the 12x12, 12 12, which would have been my preference, but I don't have it. And then this is going to go on top of here. So that is where we're headed. So if go like that. Tempted. I think I'm tempted to put a blue piece here. So. Let's see what we have. Is this even wide enough? Nope. No, is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use this. So when all this is opened, this is the piece that's going to be peeking out. Yeah. I don't know why the corners are around it. That's weird. I must have done it somehow. Okay. I just squared them off real quick before I take my measurement. Off the, uh, the width. So I'm just going to do that by hand. With... A straight edge. One side's a little straighter than the other because it went through the trimmer. That's the side that I'm going to put toward the outside. This is um, from the um, 
collection pack and it is most certain that it's from the 12 by 12. It was just a piece I had left over after using that pattern somewhere. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, these are going to kind of interweave. Now let's go ahead and cover this. Get all that out of the way. I need to find the other one of these because I think it's going to go that way. Good grief. What did I do with it? is I must have shuffled it over to the scrap pile. That's the same pattern, but that's not a, too small. Clear up my space here a little bit. Course, I put it in my scrap pile. All right. Well, this is just going to get um, matted. And this is getting matted on a six, six by four. This is seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that's where we're going to mount this. just like so. And it's centered and I'm just eyeballing it. Okay. Now that's going to get installed like so. So the, first, the next thing we need to do is open up these panels. I need to cover this and whatever I do to cover it I want it to coordinate with what's going on inside 
so let's take a look. So this is what I think I'm going to do here on this side because um, you kind of got that back and forth. And I'm going to see about using that pattern over here, see if I've got enough. That's the 12 by 12, I think. Yeah. I do, but it's um, only in the 8 by 8, I think. What's on the back side? Yeah, I used all the, the larger scale. So the other thing I can do is pull in blue here. Which would work on the cover. So if I pull in blue here, what am I going to do here? That's not my favorite blue either. Let's see if we've got a large piece of wire. that. Take a look. That. It's very simple. And So I've got the patterns figured out. Do that one more time. Kind of like the blue. I think that's too much orange. Kind of like in the blue. Okay. Let's see if I have. 
looks good. Mm. It's pretty short. I'll do what I can in editing to get as much of that out as possible. Okay, I do have enough. There we go. We are going to... <laughs> Nala, sweetie. I was thinking about color blocking, but I don't like it. Okay, so I know these are going to go on the outside, so I'm going to clear my space as much as I can. And we'll go ahead and ink and glue these down so they're not floating around. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and lay this down. Magnet. Oh, I forgot I got to cover the back of that. Shoot. I knew I was forgetting something. Um, I'll come back to that. I'm probably just going to trace around it. Um, magnet.
Okay, now we can go ahead and cover this. I'm going to try to find this pattern to put over here. must have been, oh, you know what, I think the flip side is that floral that I was trying to preserve. Maybe not. Maybe not. Here it is. Okay, I don't have it in the large scale, but I have it in the smaller scale, and that'll do. Because of the size of this, I can't get two out of that eight by eight. That kind of stinks, but I try to keep that more in the front of my mind uh, than I have for this particular album. So if this was an eighth of an inch smaller, I, I would have been able to get two of these panels out of an eight by eight. Now one of them is going to be a little bit short. C'est la vie. Actually, yeah, so this is cool because it's going to be enough to cover this. Barely. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to do two marks. One on that side and one on this side. These are my stop marks. I'm going to cut a slice up. That's my start mark. Right there and there. Okay. I can really use this. I have better luck with this. Okay. I'm looking for my little ruler. Here it is. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm lining this tick mark up with a, a broad line just because it's easy to see. And then I'm pressing my ruler again, straightening it out, pressing my ruler up against it. And then I know my ruler should be on that line up here and up down here. And then I'm actually going to pull it down because this is my stop. Okay. Now, ideally, I'm going to slip it in, it's going to fit, and then we're just going to cut that piece out. Voila! So now I'm just going to cut from one side to the other. It's kind of hard to see. So slightly so these two can go slightly underneath underneath I don't know what that's getting stuck on Just a little bit more off that. It looks like I kind of went like that. So that's an easy fix. Oh, too much. I hate that. Well, it will have to do. I cut too, too far. Just a little bit of a, a gap right there. Disappointing, but I can live with it. Much easier to just cover that before. And when you're layering like this, um, it's a lot easier to forget those things. To, to do one side and forget about the other. The reason I was in a rush to get that down is it had to be located before I could get my magnet in. So just some things to think about as you're planning your own. So I'm liking this pattern. So now we need to trim this one.
Okay, now the last piece. Let's see what we have left to work with. These aren't big enough. Do we want more of that? That seems like a lot. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit. Maybe we do that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, I can't hear you. Well, the other thing we could do is, and we haven't really used, is the red. I don't know if I like it. It looks good against this, but not so much against that. So, no. So, that leads me back, continues to lead me back to blue. Let's try this blue. A little bit too small. But I know I have it in uh, I'm pretty sure I have it in eight by eight. Do. I think we're going to do this and then we'll be done. I like it. In no way, of course. Too small, so we we'll have to cut through another eight by eight. Unfortunately, but that's all right. We're halfway through the book, and I'm not halfway through my eight by eights, but I am more than halfway through my twelve by twelve. So. That's going to be come a bit of a challenge. And so far, I'm building uh, in the same order as the pages. So this is page four, build four. And as per usual, since it's uh, going to open up to another page, page five, I'm going to reintroduce some of the same uh, patterns so that we have flow across the spread. And yes, it was difficult cutting through this paper, but it's featured on page one, so that makes it a little bit easier. Okay. All right. Nope. One, two, three, four. There we go. So there's room for a photo here, um, and we could probably add some embellishments, which I'm going to pull out my tray and see if there's something that works here. Got lots of goodies. I like that. Oh, that's 
good. Just because it pulls the orange back down. These are some of the cut up parts from the 8x8. Oh, that's pretty. Looking at horizontal versus vertical. One more tray of interesting bits. So these are, it's a combination of cut aparts and um, this stuff. So I'm kind of in the quandary. I don't know what I want to do. So what I think for now I'll do is I'm going to set this aside and I'll probably embellish it when I have a better feel for what page five looks like. And then however page five looks, uh, I'll consider the embellishments across both. But I am liking the fuchsia against the blue. So I'll come back to that. Um, and for now, that's done. We could put another frame in. A frame and a frame and a frame. That's a, that's a lot. So I'll come back to that after we finish designing page uh, five. Okay, that's it for page four. I'll be back soon, you guys.